Hyderabadi Achari Murg is a delicious chicken recipe bursting with Indian pickle flavors and the freshly prepared spice mix adds a completely unique flavor to this dish. If you are a pickle lover, you could very well give it a try and I am sure you are definitely going to love this. So let's wait no more. Here I am taking 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, quarter spoon of fenugreek seeds, 1 and a half teaspoon of coriander seeds, a few red chilies and going to dry roast them on a preheated pan until they turn aromatic. You could use fennel seeds too. Now allow to cool down considerably and then transfer to a mixer jar. And once cooled, I am adding half a teaspoon of nigella seeds or kalonji here. You may skip if unavailable. And now blend into a semi coarse powder using pulse mode. And now what we have here is the achari spice powder. Now let's keep this aside. And here I have 750 grams of chicken washed and drained. And now to this I'm adding 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 and a half teaspoon red chili powder, salt to taste, and 1 tablespoon of ground spice powder. And the remaining I'm going to keep it aside. Now to this add 2 tablespoons of whisked curd and gently massage the spices into the chicken pieces. I'm just adding ginger garlic paste. So here I'm adding 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Now let it marinate for a minimum of 30 minutes. Tablespoons of preheated oil, add half a teaspoon of kalonji and two medium sized onions chopped fine and saute until it turns golden brown. And then grind two tomatoes and add in the paste and stir well. And now to this, I'm adding the balanced achari powder mix. Try using homemade products for the best taste, guys. They add a lot of flavor besides health. And now add quarter spoon of turmeric powder, red chili powder 1 teaspoon and keep stirring continuously until the tomato paste loses its rawness. Now add the marinated chicken and give it all a good mix. Unlike other chicken recipes, this chicken curry tastes amazing if prepared a little in advance in order to enjoy the pickle flavors. And now let's close the lid and cook it on 50 minutes for low heat. It's 5 minutes now since it's been cooking and the chicken has begun to release moisture. Now add half a glass of water and mix well. And cook covered for 10 minutes or until the chicken tenderizes. The chicken has softened nicely and looks very succulent and juicy too. And now the last step of this recipe. To 3 teaspoons of preheated oil, toss in 8 to 10 garlic pods, a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, and allow to splutter. And then add in 4 dry red chilies and a few curry leaves and switch off. And now add the stadka to the curry. And combine everything together so that the flavors are infused and now add the juice of half a lemon before serving and finally garnish with fresh coriander leaves or kothmir so if you are not the waiting around kinds then straight away enjoy it with some warm rotis and some hot rice accompanied with raita and crunchy fresh onions.